Hey guys, welcome back to The Word Unpacked. Before we begin, I just want to begin with a brief prayer. So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise and we thank you for this day. We thank you for the beauty that you are showing to us during this time of Lent. Lord God, help us to continue to enter into it as we prepare ourselves, body and soul, for Easter Sunday and for the celebration of your son's resurrection from the dead. We ask these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, welcome all. Today is the fifth Sunday of Lent, and we grow ever closer to Easter Sunday. Today, the gospel really invites us to look at our own lives and to look at our relationship with Jesus, to see where we're at, and to allow him in in a unique way. It really begs the question, are we willing to grow that close to Jesus, to let him see all that we are, good and bad? And do we believe that he has the power to help us in our afflictions and in our suffering? So let's get right into it today. Uh, we're gonna, we hear in the gospel from the gospel of John, and it is chapter 11. says, the sister of Lazarus sent word to Jesus saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, this illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, where have you laid him? They said to him, sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial cloths, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. There's so much in today's gospel reading that we could unpack, but I just want to take a few moments to really unpack some of the important things that really stood out to me in this reading, and hopefully will mean something to you as well. The first is that Jesus calls us to a relationship with him, right? The same, that he, the same type of relationship that he has with Lazarus, with Mary, with Martha. We know that he, these are people that he loved, that he walked with, that he knew on an intimate level, 
we can take that because it says that Lazarus was one whom he loved. And second is we can see the emotion and the grief that Jesus experiences when he comes to the tomb of Lazarus. And so uh, we are all meant to be Lazaruses, right? The G- this, is, this gospel re- reading reminds us that we are all Lazaruses, that we are all people that Jesus loves, thinks about, cares for, wants a relationship with. The thing that the word Lazarus or the name Lazarus is a nickname for Eleazar, which means God helps. And we know that Lazarus lives in the town of Bethany and Bethany is the house of affliction. And so what is, so when we take Lazarus and Bethany, what God's message to us is, is that God is there. God helps those who suffer from affliction. And I know that, you know, our world is filled with suffering and affliction, right? As we experience this pandemic, that is a type of affliction, a physical affliction. And there are many other types of physical afflictions that we may feel in our own lives, but it's not just limited to physically that we also suffer in spiritual ways, in emotional ways, in mental ways, that God is there and wants to help us in our moments of affliction and sin and despair and in, in death. That Jesus waits the perfect amount of time in the gospel reading. He waits four days to come and see the tomb. And why is that the perfect number of days? Because we know that three days, or the Jews believe that the soul of a person hovered over the person for three days after they died. And so on the fourth day, they knew, believed, that there was no ability to resuscitate a person. And so Jesus comes on the fourth day where there's no ability to resuscitate Lazarus. And what does he do? He performs this beautiful miracle where he calls Lazarus out of the tomb. He calls Lazarus out of death, out of darkness. It's interesting that Jesus, it says, Jesus cries out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. That, la- that, that cry, those same, that same phrase is used later on in the gospel where the crowd shouts, cries out in a loud voice, crucify him, crucify him. The shouts of the crowd bring death to Christ, but the shouts of Jesus bring life to Lazarus. Jesus brings us life. Jesus wants to walk with us. He wants to encounter our darkness, our despair, our afflictions, our suffering. He wants to be with us and call us out of the darkness. We all have things in our own lives that we are ashamed of or that we're, we find troubling or that we feel alone in and we don't know who to turn to. But Jesus reminds us that there is hope in him, that he gives us that hope, that light. He is the one to look to when we feel like the walls are closing in and we feel all alone. And right now we can feel a lot alone because we're pretty much pent up in our houses, unable to hang out with our friends and our family. I know for me, I certainly miss my own family that uh, I'm unable to see. And I'm sure that you all feel that same way about your friends or those who you wish you would see on a normal weekend or weeknight or whatever it is, and you can't. And so we may feel alone. Even in the midst of this aloneness, we can be reminded that Jesus is with us, that Jesus is the hope. Jesus is the light. And that is the beauty of faith, that we believe that no matter where we're at, that there is a God who loves us, who cares for us, who dies on a cross for us so that we might have life. So my brothers and sisters, I think the message of today really is 
Are we ready to embrace a relationship with Christ? As we move closer to this Easter Sunday that's coming up in a few weeks, are we ready to embrace a life that is lived with Jesus? Or are we ready to let him see all the things that we hold in our hearts? especially the things that we're more ashamed of or we have a hard time with or control that we don't want to let go of. Are we ready to let him in, to be with us, to sit with us and to comfort us because he is the divine comforter, right? God helps those who are afflicted. So take hope today, my brothers and sisters, in this beautiful message that Jesus cries out in a loud voice, come out of darkness, come out and be with me, walk with me. May God bless you this day on this fifth Sunday of Lent. May you find that beauty and strength in Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm.